What is going on, guys? Welcome to episode 8 of the Sports and Career Mode, and we are back. Guys, I'm excited to bring the series back. It's not that I wanted to take a break away. I just had a lot of, you know, college work to do, as I told you guys in my q and I'm a senior in high school, so this is the time that colleges come up. So obviously, I had to focus on things like that, and that was just my priority. Many of you guys will understand, but if you don't, I'm sorry. That's all I can say to you guys. And we are in the transfer deadline day. And as you can see, I obviously speed up the beginning because I didn't want to make the episodes too long, guys, especially as this is a return. So um, it is going to be a live commentary because of the fact that we got to speed up the speed up the episode. So in this episode, we're dealing with the transfer deadline day and, of course, a game against Nasi Nal, which is a pretty big team in Portugal. But as you can see, we are making offers. I did try to see if Denisov from... Um, I believe that is Dynamo, Ki no, Dynamo Moscow, there you go, I almost said Dynamo Kiev. But I did try to get an inquire for him, see if we can f uh, find a backup for William, just in case we need that. And of course, Nagolo Conte, who many of you guys, if you guys watch football in real life, will know that guy is an, an animal for Leicester City. He is crushing every team in the midfield in the Premier League. It, he makes it look easy, he's like um, an Edgar uh, Davies player, if you know who that is. But, of course, we do offer for Eric Dyer, who is... um. It's upsetting to see because we see this guy lose Sporting not even playing a game and then he goes to Tottenham and he's starting almost every week for them and he's playing well. So, um, you know, it kind of sucks to see that because it would be nice to see him on the side of William Carvalho. Can you just imagine that partnership with them two over there just bossing the midfield? But as you can see, Nicola Conte, we cannot sign him because he just recently joined the club. Same thing with Eric Dyer, they just don't want to sign him. So transfer deadline day is actually pretty stale. We are not looking like we we're going to sign any players. And honestly, I don't believe we do. This was recorded a while ago. I have uh, about four episodes ahead now because I want to get this ahead. I want to get to, um, you know, a good standpoint. I might combine two episodes to make one long episode. Let me know if you guys will like that in the comments below. But guys, like I said, I'm excited to be back. And I'm sure many of you are excited to have me back because, you know, you guys seem to enjoy my series, which is something I really don't understand why. But, you know, I can't thank you guys enough. But as you can see, we are playing with our youth squad right now. Um, we did get, uh, if you guys remember from the last episode, we got a scout from the EA catalog. So he gave us a world-class player, and this is the world-class player right here. He's 16 years old. Kevin Borderson, 79 potential. He's a winger. That's pretty awesome because wingers are like, something that you know sells for a lot. If you guys don't know, in this game, the wingers and the attackers sell for the most amount. I don't know why that is. Every if you have a 90 rated player, he should sign. He should sell for. He should be worth as much as a 90 rated defender or 90 rated winger. It doesn't matter what his position is. He's 90 rated. He's world class. He should be selling for a lot. But in this game, it just it happens to work like that. I don't know. If he, EA just, uh, they kind of go off the wall when it comes to these things. But we are training that player because I just realized in the last episode that we can train him. And he does extremely well. You know, he gets an A, a C, an A, and a C. And he grows. And uh, next week, because we have the uh, international break right now. It is like the first week of September, if you guys know. This is when you go on international break. We train him again with Jelson Martins. And we are playing Nasi Nal right now. And this is still sped up, guys. Don't worry. The game is... um. It's not sped up, but something I want to bring up to you guys is my predictions for the real football leagues. And uh, first off, I want to start in the Premier League. Um, I do think Leicester City is going to win the league. And uh, reason why is because they're just world class right now. Like everyone on that team plays as a team and an individual can't win a championship. It has to be a team, as you can see many times. But Leicester City just seems like the team to win it. And with Mares over there, Vardy... Nagolo Conte, Robert Huth, Danny Simpson is, he's a very good right back, Fuchs on the left back, um, it's just like Danny Drinkwater, so underrated that play, I hope he gets called up, I believe he's from England, if he is from England, I hope he gets called up for the Euros, because a lot of those players can start for like a country, you know, Nagolo Conte can definitely play in France, you know, on the side of Pogba, that would be a sick partnership to see, honestly, but as you can see, Adrian Silva does get a penalty right now, going back to the gameplay, you know that he's on fire right now, and you know what he's going to do, guys. You all know. You saw Alexis Sanchez do this in the final. He does the cheeky chip, and he gets that goal. You know, well, you have to be world-class to do that. Now, Adrian Silva is world-class. I wouldn't say world-class, but he's a very good player, if you guys understand what I mean. Buffal, our new signing, goes celebrates. The Juvaleo jumping crazy in the crowd. That is awesome to see. It is awesome to have the series back, guys. If you, 
if you guys are excited, it's gonna be uh, you, every day uploads. If I can't upload, I'm gonna actually um, I'm gonna post a video a day that's saying I'm not uploading today, which would probably not really happen. But it's going to be back to every day uploading because I do have a schedule now with these videos coming out in advance. And I'm actually going to be bringing some foot drafts, and I'm going to bring a challenge video which involves a face cam. If you guys want to see that, leave a like, and I'll drop that as soon as I can. Um, but that's with my friend and that's fun. That's a fun challenge video I think you guys really like that, but uh, it is face cam So that's gonna be something different for you guys Slim on with a good shot But um, like I said, I don't know what the top four is gonna be because it's so close in that title race If Leicester City don't win, I don't think it's gonna be Arsenal I actually think it's gonna be Tottenham who pulls away from that because I just think Arsenal is just The coach they have Arsene Wenger it does not seem like he can pull anything off for that team right now which is sad to see because they are a team with such history and so many fans, and of course you would want to see them win. But I just don't see them winning, and honestly, I, ha I don't think they deserve it this year. Of course they have had some games, but if you lose games when you need to win, it just shows you are not a championship side, and that's just how it works for them. Of course, they're still in Champions League with Barcelona, which will probably be knocked out soon enough. But if they get knocked out, that'll help them focus on the league, which could be a benefit to them, honestly. But of course they want to do well in Champions League, because as I said, they are a big side. And um, we do go into the... Halftime break, I believe it is 2 nothing. Andre Silva and Buffal scores. I didn't see the Buffal go as I'm just talking. Um, getting into the Spanish League, I'm not going to be covering all the leagues today because I don't really, I don't follow all the leagues to be honest, but um, following uh, the Spanish League, I do think Barcelona is going to take it. They haven't lost a game in almost like 36 games. I don't think anybody's going to beat them. What is Bertrand Traore trying to do there? Just shoot the ball, like head the ball in the goal, dude. There's no reason to be fancy on that. I don't even know if that was a shot. Or pass. I think my Nan could have done better than that, but <laughs> I don't really know where to go with that. But um, yeah, I don't. I don't think Real Madrid can pull anything off. I actually believe they'll finish third, which is sad to say as a Madrid fan because um, they just aren't playing well. Zidane is turning things around for them, and Ronaldo is actually starting to play well now. But I think it's just too late for them. Uh, hopefully, they do well in Champions League. They did beat Roma today, so they are through in the Champions League. Which is, you know, a good thing to see as they that's where they belong. You know, they're a top team. Most team, uh, most championships won in Champions League. So that's good news. Um, the German League, even though Bunda, uh, the Bundesliga League, even though uh, Borussia Dortmund is trailing pretty close behind uh, Bayern Munich, I don't think they're going to pull it off. They just never do. Bayern Munich, that's their league. And they're not going to lose that league. Another um, league I want to cover is the uh, Ligue 1 which is the uh, French League, and PSG, of course, is going to take that. And my Champions League prediction is Barcelona, but that brings a wrap as Slimani scores a goal in the 90th minute. Uh, what can I say? We are right back into the series, guys. If you are excited, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'm back, guys. Let's do this.